A quiz has 10 multiple choice questions, where each question has 4 answers, and only one of the answers is correct. Would it be a binomial experiment if you guess the answers at random on all 10 questions? To see if this is a binomial experiment, we have to see if it satisfies all 4 binomial conditions. The first condition is satisfied because the number of trials is finite. Here, the number of trials is n equals 10, since you are guessing the answer for 10 questions. The second condition is satisfied because there are only two possible outcomes that we can either call a success or a failure. We will call it a success if you guess a wrong answer, and we will call it a failure if you guess the right answer. The third condition is also satisfied because the probability of success is the same for each trial. Here, each time you guess an answer at random, the probability of success, which is getting the wrong answer, is always 3 out of 4, or 0 0.75. And finally, the fourth condition is satisfied because each trial is independent of all other trial. Since you are guessing every answer at random, the outcome of one guess does not affect the outcome of any other guesses. This is a binomial experiment because all four binomial conditions are satisfied. Note, the number of trials is n equals 10. The probability of success is p equals 0.75, and using the complement rule, the probability of failure is 1 minus the probability of success, which is 1 minus 0.75. So, the probability of failure is q equals 0.25. Use the binomial distribution formula to find the probability of getting at most 3 questions wrong if you guess every answer at random. If we let W stand for the number of questions you got wrong by guessing at random, then we can write the probability of getting at most 3 questions wrong by guessing at random as p of w is less than or equal to 3. w less than or equal to 3 means w equals 3, or w equals 2, or w equals 1, or w equals 0. Since each of these events are mutually exclusive, we can use the addition rule and rewrite them as p of w equals 3, plus p of w equals 2, plus p of w equals 1, plus p of w equals 0. Note, for p of w equals 3, the number of successes is 3. Using the binomial distribution formula, we get 10 to 3 times 0.75 to the third times 0.25 to the seven. Type this into your calculator and we get 0.003090. Likewise, for p of w equals 2, the number of successes is 2. Using the binomial distribution formula, we get 10 choose 2 times 0.75 to the second times 0.25 to the eight. Type this into your calculator and we get 0.000386. Now, add up the probabilities and the answer is 0.003. 0.003506. In other words, 
the probability of getting at most three questions wrong is 0.35%. Use the binomial distribution formula to find the probability of getting at least seven questions wrong, if you guess every answer at random. Use the binomial distribution formula to find the probability of getting at least one question wrong if you guess every answer at random. Again, if we let W stand for the number of questions you got wrong by guessing at random, then we can write the probability of getting at least one question wrong by guessing every answer at random as P of W is greater than or equal to one. W greater than or equal to one means W could be equal to one or two or three or four or all the way up to W equals 10. Using the complement rule here would be much easier and much quicker. The complement of getting at least one question wrong is getting less than one question wrong, which is getting zero question wrong. So P of W greater than or equal to one is one minus P of W equals zero. Note, for P of W equals zero, the number of successes is zero. Using the binomial distribution formula, we get 10 choose zero times 0 0.75 to the zero times 0 0.25 to the 10. Type this into your calculator and we get 0 0.9999. In other words, the probability of getting at least one question wrong is 99.99%. Use the binomial distribution formula to find the probability of getting at most nine questions wrong if you guess every answer at random. Mm -hmm.